Uh, oh, you're still you here? could oh. raise call with the hand like this, or you could just jam. <laughs> jam is a slightly lower variance all play. In. He's all in with his ninth place stack. Was that a shove? Yes, it was. No, it was. Yeah. Big blind. So Clip, we got Asher Kniff at risk with tens against the ace king suited of Michael Dewitt. Kniff with what was promising to be a very boisterous rail, and they're on their feet. It's a sick feeling just having to sweat this biggest flip of your life. Here we go. The tens at risk. Oh. And oh, oh my God. that is it. Flop quads for Michael Dewick to score the knockout. Oh my goodness. Just meanwhile, Ivy opening the button to 550,000. And there's a big spoonful of Ben Heath medicine being deployed out of the big blind. Three bets to 185. Another 1.3 to call off of the 7.9 remaining. And Ivy is going to make the call. So a six cents a little off today. We saw when he was three bet by Jensen. Ivy folded the better hand in that pre-flop spot. Here he's three bet by Heath, and he's going to call with the lesser hand. But he is going to flop a club draw. 10-6 deuce. 1.25. That is certainly not going to shed Ivy. Very small continuation bet. All in. The sizing would have to be all in. Ben Heath going to double check, I would imagine, and flick in the call. So here we go. Phil Ivy's tournament life at stake here. And Heath just a clean board away from going heads up for his second bracelet. If he can knock out Phil Ivy here. Four of clubs on the turn, leaves Ben Heath drawing dead. River will be inconsequential given Heath has no club. What was I thinking he was going to knock him out? Who was, who was I kidding? So down go the aces and up goes Phil Ivey's chip count to over 17 million as he will emerge the chip leader when the dust settles. <laughs> Do you have to give it to your wife then? I feel like you have to give the bracelet to her if she put up with you playing on your anniversary. That would make sense, absolutely. So I just did the math, uh, Jamie. So 36.9, <laughs> as it turns out, you said it was two thirds. 36.9 is actually 61.5% of the starting stack, which is not that close to 66.6666666. Just for you know, cocktail par party purposes. Just, you know, someone asks you this how This is what, when you're quiet for like 12 minutes straight, are you just doing the math? <laughs> when has she ever been quiet it, for 12 it minutes? It would have taken me longer. I used a calculator, which <laughs> 61.5. I am I'm watching him with his calculator app on his laptop. <laughs> <laughs> you actually, uh, you, you played on day 1B um, before they made the announcement, or maybe as they made the announcement, the switch to combine all of them. Um, and, uh, it's a casual quads as we chat. Yeah, just, yeah, why not? I mean, the day started with quads. The first hand for Fader Holtz, he hits quads on the flop. Oh, yeah. And he says, I think I'm going to win this hand. He posted that. So everyone is fighting against Fader or Holtz. Okay. Awesome. I think I look, yeah, an overbet will get the fold out of. The full house. Yeah. Of <laughs> Oliver. Cool. Um, and she our friend who is Eric just Sedell. in here, Alex O'Brien, is yeah. writing one right now, The Truth Detective, and it has yes, some poker uh, aspects to it. Oh, looks fascinating. There's the, there are a lot of good writers in poker right now. It's, yeah, it's interesting. Chwanda involved with King 10 of Diamonds. Under the gun. <coughs> Yeah, I read the little blurb on Alex's book yesterday. Yeah, I mean, looking Not forward to it. quite for print yet, but yep. uh, just very fascinating. And it, it does pertain to your life, you know, and poker is life. 
So Chan just calls with the nines. And Ooh. Tran, again. Three big stacks, too. This could get really nine. interesting. JC content just to call out of position. And good fold by Rob. Even getting good odds, king four offsuit, just not fun to play. Yeah, he's, yeah. In, in a multi-way pot. Been there, done that. Our three largest stacks at this table are in this pot. Give us and, a cool flop. And Jawanda. Hmm. I said, give us a cool flop. You know what? I lied. This flop rolls. <laughs> it hit looking everybody. more it at it. everybody, yeah. <laughs> like, double gut shot for Jawanda. I was only seeing the gut shot at first. A check and now a bet from Jawanda and the set of nines now for Chan as he looks down the barrel of two of the greatest players in our generation, JC and John. He's going to play it I'll play. slowly. I'll play. Yeah, Three ways to a turn. You don't see that that much. All right. All right. Here we go. We've been loving our turn cards tonight. Oh, man. It looks like a healthy bet, too. It looks like about two thirds pot. 18? It's like 23. Oh, he's got it. Okay. I would think Chan would pounce at this point. Um, you're vulnerable, your hand is vulnerable to straights and to the spades, and you're in a three way pot, so you really want to protect your equity, and the pot's inflated at this point. The likelihood of a straight already is nil. You think about it. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, but, you know, middle set, which is so good. He just calls, though. This is. That's. He's he's in a weird danger spot, there. Though. Yeah. <laughs> so for Juwan, the eight or queen, Tran drawing oh. dead. But Tran in the spot right here, awesome. does he put in oh, no, 23K just more with just top dealer. top? I was just talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's really hard to know what to do here. Okay, yeah, yeah, and that's Less that's a really good nervous. lay down. Like when I had more chips, I was more nervous. It's, it's a weird Heads up now. I was talking about it. And, and Chan was just such an underrepresented hand right now. Oh my oh, god. Queen Max comes punishment. Home. Jawanda gets there. He was aggressing the whole way. Just Chan is gonna feel like a bust hit him. He has an under hand. He he's low playing a set this whole way. I mean, I think Jawanda could go for a really large size too and just make it look like a missed flush draw. But he just knows he got beaten by this river. Flop set gets run yeah. down and gets in trouble. Jawanda gets paid off. Wow, pot. what a moment for John Juwanda. Mm -hmm. From Chan uh, in the big blind nice. with Jack-10. Oh, wow. Open-ended now for Chan. Juwanda with a set of nines has to get busy. Six. Six thousand. Is it six now? Yep. Went five to six? Yep, about half pot. Pretty draw heavy board. Not, you're not going to pick the real small size here. A lot of, a lot of set mining coming. There has been a lot of sets on yeah. this feature table. Oh, man. How about that? I love Jack-10, by the way. Not just because of this, but I like Jack-10. So Juwanda still with equity. And Third board comes home. Still wanting to go for value with the hand this good, and also protection when there's two flush draws out there. You know, you do know Jack-10 is in the range of the big blind defend, but also there's a lot of other hands that are going to oh, pay you off. big range. Yep. I wonder how much is in Chan's head about the slow played set of nines that went disastrously. Mm. And if this is going to be a faster played hand, you do get a little bit snake bit when something like that happens. and. Full 
attention being paid by John Jawanda on Colm Chan. What are you looking at? 28? 32 year old from Ireland, restaurant worker, bringing a green into the equation. Looks like 30. Mm -hmm. Wanda needs help and gets there. Wow. That's the so second time we've brutal. seen John Jawanda do that. Needing the card, mustering up a call, and then crushing it and on the Same river. matchup, too. This poor guy, Chan, again. Yeah. <laughs> Can't win either side of this battle <laughs> against the pocket nines that turned into a set either. And you know, interesting looking at Chan, it's almost mm. as though he knows what he's up against. It's like, really? So, in his shoes, I think I would still be going for value with my hand. Um, you could just, yeah, he's going for big. Oof. Mm. It's going to hurt. Half a stack. Yeah, and it's literally right there. It's going for about 120% pot. Um, not really. He's not feeling beat. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Just a call, and Chan is going to hand over more than half his stack to John Jawanda after he rivers a full house. Wow.